Hey guys, it's Steven Biscuit with another Quad 6 tutorial. I'm doing a part 2. I'm um, going more in depth about how to use functions properly, you know, more efficient. But before I get into it, give me more, 10 more seconds to explain uh, what I'm going to say. Um, these videos take me hours upon hours because I'm doing just point and click. So I would appreciate it if you would like, like and subscribe and or uh, please comment about uh, your views on my tutorials if they're helping or not. And uh, I do uh, respond fast either on quadsec.com and or my channel. Uh, and that uh, here we're let's start. Okay, so we can see my script here. It looks very empty. Uh, don't do it like that to yours. I'm just doing it like this as an example, so I can separate everything. So everything's not all bunched up. So let's start. Oh, keynote. Before we begin, if you have any blank spaces from here on the yellow side of the command I strongly advise that you shouldn't have any blanks between one command to the next because when the script reads it's, it, it reads from top to bottom and it waits for it to be blank so if the yellow is blank right here the scripts not even gonna read all the way to the bottom it's just gonna stop at wherever it, wherever the yellow blanks begins so instead of reading right one triangle circle and all those on the bottom it's actually gonna stop that square if your script looks a little blank so anyway let's go back into it alright let's start with normal so if you if you seen my previous video you'll know what I'm talking about so I'm just gonna be focusing on the functions not the buttons and anything about that so in some games we use square a lot which is the X button on the Xbox 360 and right here I put a little detail so we know what I'm talking about and I'm going to be basing this around Shadow Mordor I'll be putting little videos every time it comes up to it um, the square button attacks so we got square it's a normal function and what normal does basically when you when you press the button on your quad stick which is mine is lip so every time I press the lip function on the quad stick it turns on the square button for a hundred millisecond and it just attacks if I hold it the lip it will hold the square so it's normal it just clicks on clicks on whenever you click onto it nothing new let's go to next but let's say uh, in Shadow Mortar especially sometimes you have to hold the button and you get exhausted because you know you have to blow into it or sip onto it and you have you want to use your breath for another button while you're holding it so we use the toggle function which is the second one on the list it shows it first but that's because I already have it on well, anyway for to toggle the right one which is a sneak button on shadow motor I have to right puff it so once I puff it it'll stay locked onto the sneak I'll be sneaking forever until I either push the button again so it's an on and off switch. It's like a light switch. You click the button that activates it and it'll stay on until you click that same button again. So uh, that's pretty straightforward. You can see on the video I'm just sneaking. Even if I attack, I'm still sneaking. Alright, now the one that actually helps a bunch, especially on games where you tap multiple times, will be uh, repeat. And by default, it's set to repeat 10 times per second as you're activating it. So let's just say triangle is it is an attack as well on Shadow Mortar. I'm using different ones to not confuse everybody. So we're using triangle. And right now it says repeat. It's actually repeating 10 times as long as I'm holding the button that activates it. And that one that activates it is right center puff. I put combo because you know if you in Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, any games that you just have to relay the same button over and over again, you'll do combos. So, as you can see in the video, I'm actually doing a three hit combo in Shadow Mordor. So, it's useful. I don't have to just keep blowing into it like puff, puff, puff. I can just hold the right center puff as long as I want to, and it'll just keep repeating. But let's say I don't want it to repeat ten times or whatever. Let's say I want to repeat it only five times. You will click it. I have to use a keyboard like this. So you can see a little line right here. You're going to put a space. 
and then you're gonna put how many times you actually want to use it so let's say five and that's it boom you'll get a red little marker saying it's invalid but it's okay as long as you put a space and a number and nothing else every time I trigger it by using the right center puff or whatever you put into it it'll repeat five times per second all right let's go on to the next one pulse pulse is like someone is uh, it's, it's like pulsating it's when you get a migraine and your head is just pulsing so what it does it's like a toggle function but it actually turns off on its own and the default is 1000 milliseconds which refers to as one second and I'm using the circle button just to not confuse anybody and in Shadow Mordor I need the circle button to drain my enemies like to suck the life out of them so in this case to drain somebody in the game it takes about three seconds and you're like man I don't want to be holding the toggle button for three seconds so I would use pulse if I wanted to and since it only holds for a thousand milliseconds I want to change that so I tap it just like in repeat I would put a space and like I said I want uh, let's just say four seconds it takes four seconds to drain them I would actually put 4,000 4,000 milliseconds is four seconds so what happens is once I click left center sip for just I just trigger it I don't have to hold it anymore it'll trigger on by itself for four seconds which in the video you'll see me draining the guy's life that's exactly what happens it's great but I don't use it I actually use a different method just in case I'm being attacked and I don't have time for it to keep draining I want to get out of there I'll explain that in a little bit so let's move on to greater than the only reason I'm skipping do oh, come on the only reason I'm skipping duty because to be honest I read it and read it over and over again on the support and I can't really figure out what it actually does of uh, I'm probably gonna put I can't figure it out so I'm just gonna skip it I play fine without it I really don't have any need to use it if, since I can't figure it out so we're gonna go with greater than greater than so what greater than is it's like a pressure plate if uh, if you if, uh, by default it's set to uh, activate when you push the button or uh, output input in my bad at a hundred percent so when I'm using the lip function let's just say that if I barely tap the lip function it might be like maybe 10 percent but if I click it all the way in as far as I can go that is a hundred percent which is useful so let's say you're playing a uh, I'm just gonna say not shadow mortar let's say Call of Duty or any shooting game and uh, see right here R2 is for shooting right trigger X is for jumping which is a button for Xbox users let's say I set it to left center puff so what happens is if I barely put pressure into blowing into the left center I would I would actually shoot first although my apologies I said it so you don't want to get highlighted so see it's highlighted no oh, look at that I guess not Oh, there it is. It's highlighted now. So, uh, in the previous video, I had mentioned that uh, when it's highlighted, Google Sheets is actually telling you, hey, um, you got two of the same things. Are you sure you want to do that? It's just a warning. If you want two buttons on there, you can do so. I do it all the time, actually. So, what actually happens here, since it's highlighted, is when I click left center puff, uh, normally, it would automatically activate the shooting button since it's just normal once you activate left center puff in my case it will start shooting but for greater than it has to wait till you push it as far as 100 percent pressure to activate so once I feel like it I can blow into it harder and then it will activate the jump so if when I barely click it it will just do shoot but if I do all the force into that left center puff I would actually jump and be shooting at the same time but let's say, man, 100% is way too much. Um, 
let me just do 50%. So go back. You're gonna put a space onto it. 50. That's it. That's your 50%. And you're good to go. They all have red indication marks, but it's fine. Just ignore those. So that's how greater than it works. It relies on how much pressure you put into it. And by default, it's 100%. So next, I don't really use it. I use something else entirely. My One of my favorite stuff, delay latch. Oh my gosh. This actually, whew, I'd probably lose my lungs if I didn't have this. So in most games like Bioshock Infinite, Witcher 3, Grand Theft Auto, any button that it revolves you to push forward and move the player and you also need to move the uh, camera view I use this function so normally what I would do is uh, I would always have the the up down left right uh, motion of the quad stick move the camera while I use a button mostly I always use center puff actually to activate the forward movement of the player which is left center joy up so I put delay latch because, you know, sometimes I don't need to walk far. And what Delay Latch does is you once you input it, like, which center puff, it waits for you to hold it for a certain amount of time before saying, all right, he's pushing it for this long. I guess I'll hold on forever after that. So it's like a toggle function, but it waits a certain amount of time before activating. So by default, it's, uh, I believe, one second... But normally, I always set it to four to five seconds. And I'll explain why. So the same thing as all of them. Put a space. And let's say five seconds. Why not? Any more is way too much. So I got 5,000 milliseconds. So what's happening right here is... Uh, this actually makes me walk forward because it's left joy up. So I will push left center puff, and if I hold it for five seconds, blowing into it, it'll it'll toggle it instantly. Say, hey, he held it for five seconds. I'll hold on for the rest, and it'll stay on forever until I click the button again, left center puff. So it becomes like a toggle, and it's great because uh, sometimes I only need to walk like maybe one second, so it won't activate. It'll only activate if you hold it for more than five seconds, since I put five thousand. And then, obviously, most games you sprint. So, usually the sprint button is left three. So, I would, again, I will put at center puff, since who walks anymore in video games? So, let's say I put both of them in delay latch, right? Delay latch 5000. So, that means when they're highlighted, like I said, when you it will activate both of them, since they're both on the same button or location so as I center puff the player will move forward as well as um, start sprinting for 5,000 seconds is the maximum I need to hold it for for it for the quad stick to do it for me which is great because then uh, I get really tired especially going through a long trail probably in wheelchair 3 riding the horse around so uh, that's good but you're wondering man is there a way to turn it off without pushing center puff while I'm doing something else? In fact, this is one of my favorite ones, uh, force off. So it's really simple. What it does is uh, it turns off an input automatically, even if it's toggled, uh, repeated, normal, don't matter. It will turn it off when you click a certain button. Like I said right here, it cancels it out. So let's say a uh, previous one up here. Let's say I held it for 5 seconds, 5,000 milliseconds, and uh, I want to turn it off. But I want to turn it off while I'm attacking, just like over here. It says square. Squares for attack, let's just assume. So what I would do, let's say I will find the button I want to turn off, which say uh, left joy up, right? Because, you know, I'm tired of walking forward. So it'll say left joy up. I'll highlight it because it's telling you that you know there's more than one. Force off. And then you have and let's say I want it to turn off while I'll attack. So obviously my attack up there is square and the button for that is lip. So I would find lip. 
right here. So this is what's happening. I activate walking forward by sipping into his center puff. And then I want to turn it off. But I don't want to use center puff. I want to turn it off by using another action. You would actually, I set it up where it actually turns off. Joystick up turns off by the lip function and it cancels it out. So while it turns off at the same time I'll be attacking which makes perfect flowing movement and uh, you'll see on the left side that I'm running and then instantly you have to stop running and I'll be attacking and literally I put this like force off about 20 times on my scripts because I make it force off while I'm sneaking I make it force off while I'm talking to another player I make it force off when I'm attacking and I may I make it turn off while I'm jumping within games so I, don't, I have different ways so I don't have to worry about is it on or off because the quad doesn't really tell you it's on until you see it on your gameplay mess up so same thing here I know I repeat myself but hey can't, can't apologize enough so what else do I need to turn off it would be left three there we go same thing they're both activated by the same sequence I wanted to turn on by the lip function as well bam so these both turn off as I attack so that's how you can do combinations and then uh the the uh, what I what I really like to do is a uh, last one right here and Shadow Mortar. I think once I get to level three, I I get this new skill called the uh, execution. And to trigger that, I have to do a uh, I have to sneak around and do a strong attack. So the buttons I use is actually triangle and uh, I actually use triangle and the B button for that so circle and what's great about it is uh, let's say I want to activate that execution with just one swift button let's say I would put it to uh, let's say uh, left center sip Yeah, ignore the highlights. I'm starting to repeat my buttons at this point. Just focus on the triangle and circle part. Here it is. So like I mentioned, this one comes in handy for me a lot, especially when I'm fighting. So what happens is these two buttons, triangle and circle, which is a, a Y and B on the Xbox, is triggered by left center sip. And when I left center sip it, they both activate at the same time, which is great when you have to push two buttons at the same time. And in my case, it executes the enemy, as you can see here. On that, uh, I think I covered a good way to start programming. Um, if you have any questions upon games, like, hey, how do I write a script? Or like maybe I might have the game or maybe I might just make a video of how it works or I I usually look at a game I read the uh, button layout online and I figure out on my own how to make it efficient as possible without using that many modes I actually <laughs> I like to cram everything into one side of the mode I don't like using multiple ones but um to each their own on that, I really hope this helped. I know I stuttered a lot, but I'm only taking one take. Uh, other than that, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment, see how I'm doing, tell me what I'm doing wrong. If you want to see me play games, more than happy to. Uh, these tutorials take a long time, especially for me. You know, I'm paralyzed, but I'm very happy to help everybody out, help the community of the Quad Stick.